since it's the uh, first day of November, you get a review in black and white with some Venetian blinds, as you do when you watch film noir. So uh, this is noir November 8, and I, I just can't believe it's been eight years of noir November and how the first year it was just me and every year more and more people. And now looking at the hashtag this morning, there's like people from Portugal and Germany and all over the place celebrating. And it just, it makes me really happy that everyone's watching all these noirs and uh, discovering all this great film. So, and someone's doing a really great like comic this year that looks fantastic. So definitely check out the noir member hashtag like all over the internet. But uh, I celebrate by watching a new to me, film noir every day in November. So I started the day with 1948's The Street With No Name. Shout out to Videodrome uh, here in Atlanta for renting this to me. This is directed by William Keeley and stars Mark Stevens, Richard Widmark, Lloyd Nolan, and Barbara Lawrence. It's one of many uh, subgenre of noir that take their uh, cases from FBI files. There's a bunch of these like FBI file and police file based on true events uh, films and it actually includes several FBI agents playing themselves and starts out with a uh, memo from J. Edgar Hoover. So you know you're in for a good time. In it, basically, they FBI has discovered that mobsters are coming back and it's like, oh shit, no mobsters. And that they are systematically... Um, Black or not blackmailing, framing like small time crooks in for their bigger crimes, and so they uh, get Mark Stevens to uh, infiltrate the gang to try to get hard evidence to prove that they are blackmailing people and to bring down this criminal syndicate. The leader of which is played by none other than Richard Widmark, one of my all time favorite uh, actors, let alone noir actors. Um, Barbara Lawrence is great as the as the dame. There's a lot of great dialogue about like you know open that window one more time and I'm gonna throw you out it and things like that. Um, there is in, indeed a uh, bourbon movie quote. Very good. Uh, Richard Widmark does not go full crazy, but he is very menacing in this film. Um, he's fun because he sometimes is menacing and sometimes is like the hero but he always seems a little menacing even when he's the hero and this one he's straight up the villain there's also a boxing scene so there's like a lot of noir tropes popping up in this film mark stevens is one of my favorite uh sort of that guy actors he's also in um another fox noir that i love called the dark corner which was from 1946 and this directed by henry hathaway one of the great noir directors um that's a cat Yes. Hello. That was a cat. Came out of nowhere. I guess uh, Miss Fanny wanted to say she also likes The Dark Corner, except she's never seen it. Um, the Dark Corner has really great sound design. This one uses some great um, footage actually on like in, um, in Los Angeles. So it's one of those great LA noirs. Um, there's just lots of neon and Hoodlums, and here's a cat's tail. Let's see. Fanny! Oh, no. Okay. Anyways, this is available on DVD from Fox. It's a Fox Noir. It's one of their Fox Noir releases. And um, it goes nicely with The House on 92nd Street. If you've not seen that one, that's another one of these FBI files films. Um, I recommend it. Definitely for Richard Widmark. He's the best thing in it. But Mark Stevens is no slouch either. Um... Definitely check out the Noir Member hashtag, the Noir Member Facebook page. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Old Films Flickr, and I'll be um, watching Noir along with you all month and tweeting and retweeting and just really reveling in the Noir. So uh, have a terrible day.